You was talking all that shit, huh? <laughs> all praise goes to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Double honors goes into the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that uh, have taught me the truth. And much love, peace, and blessings goes to all you hopeful elect brothers that are teaching the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So let me play this video and get into it, man. Place where I've just accepted that my light is so bright that it causes all of the roaches to scatter in places they thought they could hide. It's just me being me. It just causes such an uproar. Like loving yourself is such a rebellious act these days, you know? <laughs> but I'm here to tell you I am so not sorry. Hey, so as you can see, you know, this demon, which has been getting aroused on social media for a while, known as Brittany Renner, you know, it was a lot of controversy about her a few months back where, you know, she had finessed this young NBA player who's, I think, maybe like 10 years her junior, right? She used her, you know, womanish deceptions and her body to get into this guy's money. I mean, get into this guy's mind who had a potential to to give her money. So her mindset was not towards being a wife or staying, building something with that guy. It was towards her own benefit and what she got this gain. So she left this dude when she had, when he had nothing else to offer her. Well, for whatever reason, who knows really? But she finessed his ass, got got what got what uh and he's stupid for going for her bullshit. But anyway, the point is, she was getting a lot of this woman was getting a lot of pushback on social media about her wickedness. You know, and as you can see from the video I played, she was talking shit about it. I'm not sorry. Because hey, the most high got something coming for all you proud ass women, because we're not like a lot of these, you know, woke, you know. Red pill guys, we gonna tell you straight up. How about Shimmy How was shy is about to fucking humble you Israelite women. Cause Brittany Renner, she's an Israelite. More than likely, she well, I think she probably Northern Kingdom. The way from judging from her spirit, she probably like she either a Benjamite or like one of the northern tribes, but she's still a fucking demon, as as is the case with ninety nine point nine percent of the women of our women in America. Because they have this, you know, toxic mindset of, you know, a man is nothing but what he can do for me. Which, sure, I mean, a man is supposed to provide, protect, and do cert have certain duties towards his woman. But what it's all about is a woman serving a man. What can you give to him? Because a man's job, first and foremost, above all, all Israelite men is to serve our God, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And raise our kids, our children in the ways that please him as well. That's our job. And your woman, the woman, your job is to assist the man in what he's supposed to be doing. But that's why you got niggas that, you know, are into all these di diverse lifestyles, which have nothing to do with serving the most high. And then they end up getting with women like this and getting played. Because the scriptures even tell you that a wicked woman is portion is uh, given as a portion to a wicked man. So, but the point of this video, like I mentioned, she was talking all this shit. Now this woman, you know, she was going from being dating, you know, being kind of wifed up, somewhat wifed up by an NBA player, talking shit about leaving him and taking his baby, which who knows, he could have actually dumped her, who knows. But then, you know, now she had to move back with her parents and she don't even got no whip, man. This bitch is broke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because look, this is what the Lord is doing. It's not, and it just doesn't apply to women. All the devices of you wicked scheming people that think you're going to bypass the worship of the Heavenly Father, the worship of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and having pro uh, proper conduct on this earth, you think you're going to bypass that and do what you want? The Lord is going to get you, man. And the Lord is getting people right now. He's judging motherfuckers, man. So she's, you know, makes it all about her baby and this and that. What well, the Most High is about to, hey, Most High is about to have women like this, these single mothers, these women that have all the contempt for the Israelite men. Subconsciously, they don't even love their own children. You know what I'm saying? These women don't give a fuck about their kids. 
So that's why the Lord is going to bring things like this back. This is Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 10. The hands of the pitiful women have sodden their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. So this is what happened when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh brought judgment on Jake. When he brought the heathen upon us, laid siege on our cities because we were worshiping other gods. We weren't keeping his laws and his statutes and commandments. During those sieges, women, due to them starving and, and for the want of food, they ate their own babies, man. So you mean to tell me that type of spirit, that type of spirit won't come back for these women that are uh, all proud on social media? You got women with children, but you check out their social media page, it's 99% all selfies of, of, of themselves, man. They don't even post shit with their children like that. You know what I mean? They don't care about their children. The children is the afterthought. So then, you know, the Most High is going to even put the pressure on these people even more to where they're going to be doing crazy shit like this. And women going to be getting judged and killed, put to death, sold for goods and services and all that shit, man. Because hard, even harsher times than what we see are coming to America. And it's going to come suddenly. This is going to, hey, this is going to be a sudden break and a collapse to the U.S. dollar as to where... You ain't going to be able to buy shit. There's going to be panic buying at the stores. All the shelves are going to be empty. The gas station is going to be out of gas. And let let a month, two months, three months of that situation play out here in America. By fucking week two of no food, these women are going to be doing this to their babies, man. You see? Because there's a, there's a false sense of stability in America. But look, the dollar is hanging on by, by a thread. And these people are still able to go back and forth from work, buy what they want. But it's not going to be so in the sudden. The Most High's wrath is going to come quick. Okay? So this is the book of Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 16. It says, Moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes. And haughty meaning they're proud. So let's look up that definition for haughty. Just to get a context. Uh, haughty means arrogantly superior. So when you're superior, it means you think you're better than everyone else. You're proud and disdainful. You know, these women walk with their nose in the air, click clacking as they walk with them heels on, trying to be sexy, pulling down their dresses with their asses showing man. How about Shemel Shai? I got something for you. You know what I mean? How about Shemel Shah is about to bring judgment on these women and everyone else that's wicked. Men too. Niggas that's all in the world smoking blunts and all that shit. You know, doing these different things. You know, they're going to get judged as well. But this video is about the woman. It says, and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go, making a tinkling with their feet. You see? And that's why, as you read on, the, the scriptures detail how the Lord took away their beauty. Hey, because Brittany Renner, she, hey, I, I ain't going to lie. She's a, a decent looking woman. She, she looked good. But as a whole, our women in that ancient world look 10 times better than her. And then when you go to the average woman, Brittany Renner, she's a, a, you know, she looks she separates herself from the pack when it comes to looks because majority of black women in America, they they can't even grow their hair and they and they um they don't look that good, man. They don't look as good as they did in the ancient world. You know what I'm saying a lot of them walk around looking like fucking wildebeest because they don't know how to uh constrain their eating habits. You know what I mean? So, hey, all this shit is gonna fail. You know what I mean? So this is uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 10. <clears throat> in fact, in verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. And when the Lord said careless daughters, that's how you know he's talking about the women of his nation. Because the, the you know, you Israelite women, black, Hispanic, and Native American women, you are the daughters of the Heavenly Father, whether you believe that or not. Every other woman, be it Asian women, especially the so-called white women, they ain't shit in the eyes of the Most High. So the Most High is talking to his daughters. It says, give ear to my speech, 
And speaking on the Lord's speech is being brought out by the prophets of Great Millstone, man, exclusively. All you other camps out there, you, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It says, many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. And what does the vintage represent? The vintage represents, basically in the ancient world, you had, <clears throat> you know, the harvest, right? The harvest, the goods which come by, by uh, you know, result of, of your labors. You know what I mean? So within that, when that fails, all these different things that these women pursue, like clothes, like shoes, hair, getting their nails done, driving to and fro, down to their food, is going to fail. It's going to cease, man. Come on, man. It says, tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. And sackcloth represents being in a mournful state. Do you see what I mean? Because a lot of these women are going to be mourning in, in lamentation for the type of stuff that we're about to see on earth. Book of Eli level things, if you ever seen that movie. And different like post-apocalyptic scenarios you see on these movies, that's what's going to play out on the earth. And 10 times worse in America. Because America, look, the different things you see as far as judgments on the earth, they come by product of people being evil and wicked. So America is one of the is the most wicked society where people totally don't care about the words of the Heavenly Father. They into homosexuality, the women into lesbian. Look, I seen a video, another video on World Star, where this bitch, the 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 child's father, you know, well, I'll put it like this. A, a, a man approached a car with his with his baby mama in the car and in the, in the, in, the, in, the, in his in his trunk and his child was on the hood of the fucking car while she's in the car and guess what she's doing in the car making out with another woman man which is uh, disgusting and that's just one example among the millions of things people do every day that are just just evil and wicked man the witchcraft all of that shit you know what i'm saying this shit got to go, man. And the Heavenly Father is going to do this by bringing famine, by bringing a lot, all kind of different things so that these people get judged. <clears throat> so, uh, I mean, pretty much that's the message. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai. Ba Shem Shalom.